There is no denying the strength of female athletes. Women have repeatedly shown that they are physically capable of completing seemingly impossible physical feats. From scaling the tallest mountain on earth to swimming in harsh ocean conditions, to running 26.2 miles at breakneck speeds. Female athletes, however, are not only fast, they are also strong. They overturn obstacles. They struggle tenaciously for equality. Likewise, they affect the cultural landscape by moving beyond sports. Today, in this amazing video, we'll be talking about Marina Kalitko and everything about her. So, make sure to stay tuned until the end. That said, let's get started. Marina Kalipko is without a doubt one of the most well-known and adored female athletes of her generation. She is a remarkable athlete who is well-known by her family name, Marina Vyacheslovivna Kalipko. She was born in Charkiv, Ukraine, on November 10, 1995. Charkiv is a lovely and densely populated city in the east of Ukraine. Ukrainian athlete Marina Kalipko excels in the pole vault. At the Summer Olympics in 2020, she competed for her nation and placed sixth in the pole vault competition. Through her work as an athlete, Marina Vyacheslovivna Kalipko acquired her estimated $5 million net worth, commonly referred to as the Ukrainian athlete. She is regarded as one of Ukraine's most successful athletes. Being a successful Ukrainian athlete is the main source of income for Marina Kalipko. After completing her official education, Marina began her career as an athlete in her early years. Marina Kalipko, who was born on November 10, 1995, is possibly one of Ukraine's most popular and upcoming social media stars. As the excellent influencer that she is, she frequently publishes a ton of intimate images and videos on social media in order to communicate with her small but very dedicated fan following. Her personal bests in the competition are 4.65 meters outdoors, a national record as of September 3, 2016, and 4.55 meters indoors in Belgrade 2017. Here's a little history lesson on pole vaulting. Pole vaulting, popularly known as pole jumping, is a track and field event wherein a competitor jumps over a bar while using a long, flexible pole, typically constructed of fiberglass or carbon fiber. The Celts, Minoan Greeks, and Mycenaean Greeks were all familiar with pole jumping competitions. It has been an Olympic medal event since 1896 for men and since the 2000s for women. Along with the high jump, long jump, and triple jump, it is often categorized as one of the four important jumping events in athletics. It is uncommon among track and field events in that it necessitates a sizable quantity of specialized gear for participation, even at the most fundamental level. Given the similar physical requirements of the two disciplines, a number of top pole vaulters, including world record holders Yelena Isenbeba and Brian Sternberg, have gymnastics backgrounds. However, your running speed could be the most important component. Pole vaulting requires physical qualities like strength, speed, and agility but technical competence is just as crucial, if not more so. Pole vaulting's goal is to avoid toppling a bar or crossbar that is held by two uprights. According to Richard Ganslin's book The Mechanics of the Pole Vault, in 1826, the London Gymnastics Society, under the direction of Professor Volker, hosted measured pole vaulting competitions with 1,300 participants, recording heights up to 10 FT 10 in. Height measurements were first used in pole vaulting competitions in 1843 at the Alverston Football and Cricket Club in Lancashire, north of the Dunes, now Cumbria. When pole vaulting was integrated into the routines of the Turner Gymnastic Clubs in Germany around 1850 by Johann C. F. Gutz Mutz and Friedrich L. John, modern competition got its start. It was first used in Great Britain at the Caledonian Games. Vaulting poles were initially crafted from rigid materials like bamboo or aluminum. Vaulters were able to reach greater heights after the invention of flexible poles for vaulting in the early 1950s, constructed of composite materials like fiberglass or carbon fiber. Additionally, on August 5, competitors from Ukraine took home one silver and one bronze medal from the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. With 13 medals already under its belt, 
Ukraine is positioned 36th in the overall medal standings. Angelika Turliuga, a Ukrainian karate practitioner who finished second in the women's 55 kilogram division, was awarded a silver medal. Ivan Gornova of Bulgaria won the Kumite karate match 5 colon 1. Turliuga defeated Taiwanese Kareko when Suyun 4 colon 4 in the semifinal. The Summer Olympics are featuring karate for the first time. Baseball slash softball, skateboarding, sports climbing, and surfing were the other four new sports that were added to the Tokyo Olympic schedule. Lead Milaluzin also took home a bronze in the women's single 200-meter canoe event. Luzin completed the course in 47.034 seconds. American Nevin Harrison won the race in 45.932 seconds, while Canadian Lawrence Vincent Lapointe finished in second place with a time of 46.786. I dedicate this prize to my mother, who once had a hope that I would compete in the Olympics and bring home a medal. Mom, I accomplished it, exclaimed Luzin. Aside from winning two golds, Olma Storikova of Russia placed fourth in the women's Karen with a time of 0.396 seconds, and Ukrainian Marina Kalipko placed fifth in the women's pole vault final with a height of 4.50 meters. In the women's Karen, Lyuba Besova finished sixth, 0.580 seconds behind her Dutch competitor and winner Shan Braspin Inkex. Additionally, Nina Kennedy's Commonwealth Games preparation keeps getting better and better as the West Australian pole vaulter scored an outstanding victory in Finland. The current Commonwealth bronze medalist won gold at the Pavo Nurmi Games in Turku by leaping 4.65 meters above a field stacked with elite athletes. Kennedy outjumped Wilma Murdo and Marina Kalipko, two of the top 10 pole vaulters, who were both unable to break 4.50 after rising to 15th in the world. Kennedy's success in Finland followed a strong showing at a Diamond League competition earlier this month in Morocco, where the Bus Elton product won the silver medal. Kennedy outjumped Olympic gold medalist Katie Najat, world number four Holly Bradshaw, and world number five Katerina Stefanetti, with a jump of 4.65 in Morocco, matching her effort from Finland but losing to world number three Sandy Morris on a count back. After overcoming a protracted injury fight, Kennedy will go into the upcoming Athletics World Championships and Commonwealth Games. Connor Leahy and Matt Richardson, two cyclists who will both be making their Commonwealth Games debuts in Birmingham, are among the additional West Australians who have been recruited to Australia's team. Fellow cyclist Luke Sicaria will also make his tandem pilot debut. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts on Marina Kalipko in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.